dad buys a lie detector robot that slaps you if you lie. Dad, son, where were you at school hours? Son, at school. The robot slaps the son. Son, okay, I was watching Kung Fu Panda. The robot slaps his son again. Son, okay, I was watching violent movies. Dad, what? When I was your age, I never watched those kinds of movies. The robot slaps the dad. Mom, ha ha, after all, he is your son. The robot slaps the mom. A man used to go to a bar every day and drink three glasses of alcohol. This caught the waiter's attention and he asked, why do you drink three glasses of alcohol every day? The man replied, we are three brothers and since the other two aren't here, I drink on their behalf. Time goes by and one day the man comes and orders two glasses of alcohol. The waiter is surprised and asks, is something wrong today that you're drinking two glasses? Did one of your brothers pass away? The man replies, no, I've actually quit drinking. I'm drinking on behalf of my other two brothers. An old lady gets caught shoplifting. On court day, the lady and her husband who goes with her stands before the judge and he says to her, why did you shoplift? And she says, I was hungry. The judge says, what did you take? She replies, a can of peaches. So the judge trying to figure out how to punish her says, how many peaches were in the can? The lady says six inches, so the judge says, okay, then one day per peach in jail, that will be six days time served. The judge says, would anyone like to say anything? And her husband says, your honor, she stole a can of peas too. A bodybuilder takes off his shirt and starts flexing in front of a blonde woman. She exclaims, wow, what a great chest you have. He says, solid dynamite, babe. He then takes off his pants and the blonde says, Wow, what massive calves you have. He flexes his leg muscles and says, Like I said, pure dynamite, sweetheart. Then he removes his underwear and the blonde goes running and screaming in fear. He gets dressed and goes chasing after the woman. When he catches up to her, he asks, Why the hell did you go running off like that? She replies, I was afraid to be around all that dynamite when I saw how short the fuse was. During World War II, an English pilot from a fleet sent to bomb Berlin was captured severely injured. At the hospital, the German doctor approached the Englishman and said, I have some bad news for you. We need to amputate one of your legs. The Englishman asked the German doctor, Could you at least ensure that when your people go to bomb London, they throw my amputated leg onto our territory? The doctor agreed, and the leg was thrown onto British soil. A few weeks passed, and the doctor informed the Englishman that his other leg was also needed to be amputated. The Englishman reiterated his request, and the doctor once again agreed. The leg was sent to British soil. Two weeks later, the doctor told the Englishman that his arm was deteriorating and would have to be amputated. The Englishman repeated his request for his arm. This time, the doctor refused. The Englishman asked, Why not? You've thrown both of my legs onto British soil. Why not my arm? The doctor replied, well, it seems like you're trying to escape little by little. A woman bought a parrot from a pet store. She was thrilled to have a companion that could communicate with her. However, the parrot had a bit of a problem. Every time the woman walked into the room, the parrot would shout, hey, you're ugly. The woman was furious and scolded the parrot, but it didn't seem to make a difference. The parrot continued to insult her day after day. One day, she decided to teach the parrot a lesson. She put the parrot in the refrigerator. Inside the cold, dark refrigerator, the parrot shivered and realized it had gone too far. It remained silent for a while, contemplating its behavior. After about an hour, the woman opened the refrigerator door and the parrot sheepishly said, I'm sorry for being rude, lady. I promise I'll never insult you again. The woman was surprised, but relieved. She asked, that's good to hear, but what made you change your mind? The parrot replied, well, lady, I learned my lesson, but I have one question for you. What did the chicken do? After examining the male patient, the doctor expressed a desire to speak privately with the man's wife. Once the man left the room, the doctor began to explain in a serious tone, your husband's condition is serious. If you don't follow my advice, be aware that he might not survive the next bout of tension. He continued, Every morning you need to prepare a perfect breakfast and for dinner, prepare either a tender steak or filet mignon with vegetable. Twice a week include a lavish fish dish. While talking, never bring up topics that might spoil his mood. Absolutely avoid discussing your personal problems. 
sit next to him and massage his back, encourage him to watch sports every evening, engage in sex several evenings a week and strive to satisfy him in every way. If you follow these instructions without fail for about a year, I believe your husband will recover and return to a normal life. On the way back home, the husband asked his wife, what did the doctor say to you? He said, the woman replied briefly, you're going to die. The flight wasn't carrying enough meals for all passengers. Airborne less than 30 minutes on an outbound evening flight, Stu lead flight attendant for the cabin crew nervously made the following painful announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so very sorry, but it appears that there has been a terrible last-minute error by our airport catering service. I don't know how this has happened, but we have 103 passengers on board and unfortunately, only 40 dinner meals. I truly apologize for this mistake and inconvenience. When the passenger muttering has died down, she continued, anyone who is kind enough to give up their meal so that someone else can eat will receive free, unlimited drinks for the duration of our flight. Her next announcement came 90 minutes later. If anyone would like to change their minds, we still have 40 dinner available. After driving for about 16 hours, a truck driver decides to pull over and get some sleep. Just as he falls asleep, he is awakened by a knock at the cab door. Can you tell me the time, please? Asks a jogger. Yes, it's 4.30, the trucker replies. He falls asleep again, only to be awakened by another jogger who wants to know the time. It's 4.40, shouts the trucker. Deciding to try to get some sleep, he writes on a piece of paper. I don't know the time, and sticks it on the windshield, but he wakes up again. It's 5.25, another runner shouts at him. A husband and wife have aged quite a bit. One day when they were alone at home, the woman turned to her husband and said, Darling, do you remember what we used to do when we were alone together? The man reluctantly replied, Yes, I remember. The wife said, Well, I'm going to the bedroom now and you come after me. After a while, when the man didn't come, the woman called out from inside, Darling, come on, my excitement is going to fade. Still no response from the husband. A bit more time passed, and the woman shouted again, Darling, come on now, my excitement is fading away. Still, no response from the husband. A little more time passed, and the woman called out once again, Come on, enough. If you're coming, come. Upon this, the man couldn't resist and replied, Why do you keep yelling? I'm trying to revive the dead here while you've opened a grave over there. <laughs>